So not gonna lie here, I kind of thought we'd get something relating to COD 2021 today, but I wasn't expecting what we actually got. That being a teaser trailer that officially confirms Call of Duty Vanguard and lets us know what we should be looking forward to here later this week for a full worldwide reveal. Today we're gonna break down everything we learned today and what you should be looking forward to here and when you should be looking forward to it in Warzone come later this week. So as we go along, leave your thoughts down below. What do you guys think so far of what we've seen with Call of Duty Vanguard in this little teaser trailer here with it? Are you guys looking forward to it? Do you guys have any hopes for Vanguard? Whatever the case may be, let me know your thoughts down below. But as well, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's aim for a thousand likes here on this video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You do not want to miss anything here coming up. We have so much to talk about in regards to Vanguard and everything else in the COD scene. So if you're interested in any of that, hit that subscribe button. That said, let's jump right into it. So this all started out with a tweet from Call of Duty that went live in conjunction with an actual teaser trailer for Call of Duty Vanguard as of a few hours ago here in which the tweet said, join the hashtag Battle of Verdansk and experience the worldwide reveal of Call of Duty Vanguard, 8-19, August 19th, that being this Thursday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time in Verdansk with the attached trailer. Now, this teaser trailer is kind of an extended look at some of the teasers we've been getting across the various number of influencers, content creators, press that have been getting these teasers throughout the world. We've seen that there were regions getting specific fronts with myself and a bunch of other NA North American creators actually as of yesterday getting one on the Pacific front. So this kind of is an extended look at this and then you'll see that some of these aspects come together and make sort of character faces which may end up representing some of our characters here. But overall a lot of this teaser is really just setting up the narrative here what we can expect to see when it comes to Vanguard and what we end up learning about with this World Rider reveal coming later this week. But we end up seeing, again, these fronts represented on larger scales here, those character faces. We get some teasers here of the task force that's been teased already. But when we come down to it, this is not the reveal trailer. We're gonna see more of that here later this week. So this being the real world counterpart to it with gameplay, engine footage, and all that kind of stuff likely being shown off on the trailer, like how we normally see with reveal trailers. These are just the standard teasers that lead up to it. So I think probably one of the biggest things here is that it's not just Call of Duty 2021 being revealed here. They confirmed that it is Call of Duty Vanguard here. They confirmed with key art at the end. And of course, with the setting, this is a World War II game here at this, but Vanguard is 100% confirmed with this. It's not just a code name, which I thought was kind of interesting given that Vanguard was what we saw leaked as that sort of working title for so long. So to see that be the finalized piece here is interesting. But anyways, it seems like this is something that will be following the more global front of the war since we've seen so much more tease than just the European theater which is where we were with Call of Duty World War II and 2017 but also we see bits into Africa into the Pacific a larger scale look at the war it seems like but we also talked about how those shots came together and made sort of faces and at the end we end up hearing a narration of whatever we do we do it together and the stress on see them rise so it seems like this might be following a group of people here at this and the only thing that I can really think of out of these teasers that we've seen so far is that it's this task force vanguard that we've seen this patch in every single one of these teasers so far that seems like that could be a logical explanation here for who they are who them is but we'll have to wait and see how this all unfolds that'll be interesting here at this but when we get back to the reveal in it of itself here we again come back to that 10 30 pacific time which will then translate to 1 30 eastern time and i think it's like 6 30 in the uk if i'm not mistaken here with that so make sure that you're ready here for this you can jump on because it seems like this might be following the same footsteps as what we saw with last year's Black Ops Cold War reveal in the Know Your History event. Right now, we don't have too many specifics on what this will entail. We'll come back to that in a second because we did actually get a tweet from Call of Duty kind of detailing what we can expect to see in terms of the event itself. But as of this reveal, this little tease here, we actually got an accompanying blog post as well, talking a little bit about what can lead up to this here and what you can expect on Thursday. So I'll leave the link down there in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But for this, it's relatively straightforward there's not a whole ton of information that you don't really know outside of this trailer but they of course reiterate that at 10 30 a.m pacific time on the 19th the battle of verdansk will begin in Warzone. join the battle and experience the worldwide reveal in call of duty vanguard live in game and they also say that you can be the first to the fight and be rewarded 
report to Warzone, and play on any playlist between 9.30 a.m. and 10.29 a.m. Pacific Time, and prepare to participate in a limited time double XP, double weapon XP, and double battle pass XP event before the battle begins. More information to follow. I.e. tomorrow and Wednesday, we're probably going to see even more information come out about this, but as of today, we actually got a little bit later here than the other stuff, so some of your other favorite creators might not have touched on this because their content may have already been up just by that point. But Call of Duty ended up tweeting, we need every squad to be ready for a joint operation at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time on August 19th, hashtag Battle of Verdansk. Battle of Verdansk seems like it's a pretty large scale thing here with this, but there's nothing that really leads up to this so far that we know of within the game files at the moment. But what was tweeted kind of is in line with what we've seen that is in the game files here, in which it's a four part image that says a new weapon is rolling into Verdansk. Assets in the field suggest an armored vehicle, but intel is limited. Target arrival on location is 819, August 19th, again, 1030 AM Pacific time. Squad up and work together to take it down. And it looks like this giant planning board of, well, Verdansk, and what you can expect to see around the world. Right now, it looks like the sort of outlined area is that of that loop in sort of Western Verdansk that is the train tracks that goes through train station, goes past the airfield and hangars, goes up right below Summit, then comes back around to the left through Old Mine, all the way down into the Boneyard, and then to the southern tip of Verdansk. That is kind of in line because there was assets pulled from the game files a long while ago that suggested an armored train and an ambush here of that. So that might actually be what this turns out to be, especially with the mention of an armored vehicle, but the intel being limited. So that kind of lines up here at this. I also very much so wonder if this is going to be something in relation to those red cargo containers, something that is being powered and is along those lines in some regards of where the train would pass here, though not directly next to it. So it's possible that could be unrelated, but very interesting, no less, but we do end up seeing that we're going to have a sort of event in particular, similar to Know Your History, where we have to make an assault on this armored vehicle, it seems like. But in relation to why there actually is now coming back to a sort of pre-event double XP, double weapon XP, double battle pass XP event, that's probably helping to allow players to ease their way onto the servers. If you guys have been a part of any of the last two events within Warzone, that being the Know Your History event or the destruction of Verdansk part one and two, servers were of course overloaded at that point. So you had a lot of people missing the initial event because of server queues and things like that. So this seems to sort of entice people to get on early earlier so that you don't miss out on any of that and get in the servers without having a server queue. So you can end up for that hour beforehand going on and getting double XP, double weapon XP, and double battle pass XP. But of course, we'll keep you up to date with everything you need to know here on all of it. But the big key takeaways for today, Vanguard has been confirmed. That is the name. That is something we'll see revealed in Warzone. It kind of seemed like we weren't for a little bit of time, but Thursday, we're going to get an event and, of course, the full worldwide reveal here. So, of course, stick it here on the channel. We'll keep you up to date with everything you need to know. Keep you up to date with all of it. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to what we've seen so far with this little teaser? Are you looking forward to the event on Thursday? Whatever the case may be, let me know down below. But hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. And, of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected outside of YouTube. Probably live on both those. So, if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever the case may be, links down there in the description below. But said, thanks so much for watching. Get ready for Vanguard, and I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.